Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Steffi blames Finn for Hope kissing him. Brooke inquired in the design office about Hope's decision to kiss Finn. Hope became distraught and Brooke calmed her down, saying Brooke needed to know what had happened. Brooke later became frustrated, asking Hope if she realized how awful things could have turned out if Steffi had seen what Hope had done. Hope, shocked by her own behavior, was terrified of losing control. Brooke inquired as to what Hope had been thinking. Hope was unable to say. Brooke inquired whether Hope was concerned about being caught. Hope assumed she'd been thinking exclusively about Finn, and that she might be able to persuade him that she was a better fit and could provide him with everything he needed. She claimed the kiss felt right until she opened her eyes and saw Finn's reaction, at which time reality hit in and she became ashamed. She couldn't fathom her own irresponsibility. Brooke understood and stated that Hope was growing fixated with Steffi's husband. Brooke inquired whether Steffi should be concerned that Hope was after her husband. Hope expressed that she didn't want to be doing it. She had been swept up in the moment, but she would not allow it happen again. Brooke wondered if Hope could actually manage her emotions. Hope explained that she had to since Finn was terribly furious with her. She implored him to let things go and go on, but he insisted on informing Steffi. Brooke's jaw dropped open. Brooke became concerned that Steffi would lash out and try to drive a wedge between the families again. Hope apologized. She said she hadn't considered how it would affect Brooke and Ridge, let alone her line, not at all. Brooke was more concerned about Hope, who was acting out of character. It all began when the married Hope kissed Thomas in Rome, and now she has feelings for Finn. Brooke was worried about Hope and stated it would harm her in ways she couldn't comprehend if she couldn't control her love for Finn. Hope agreed. She had no idea why she was doing it, but she did not want to do it to Finn. Hope couldn't come up with an explanation but she promised to try. Taylor leaned against the doorway in Eric's office, stating she could spend the entire day watching Rich sketch. Rich hugged her, pleasantly surprised to see her. She stated the wait was over and she was back. She hoped he was not disappointed. See you. Never, he responded. Taylor showed off photos of her and Douglas in Paris, and she said he lighted up whenever he spotted art he liked. Ridge assumed it was because Douglas was with his incredibly lovely grandmother. Taylor commented that Thomas appeared cheerful, and Ridge stated that he could hear Thomas's delight bursting through the phone. Ridge realized Taylor had first learned of Paris and Thomas's engagement, and Taylor revealed that their son had confided in her. Taylor mentioned meeting Steffi, who had been having a difficult time. Taylor had promised their kid that she would return home as soon as possible. Taylor said she missed her daughter, grandchildren, and Ridge as well. The conversation shifted to Brooke's bedroom. Taylor congratulated Ridge. She remembered meeting him with Brooke in Menanko and saying he was handsome, in the images she had seen. She expected him to focus on couture rather than lingerie. Ridge thought she'd spoken with Steffi. Taylor questioned Ridge's decision to put Brooke on the executive team. Ridge stated that he needed assistance with Eric and Thomas gone. Taylor understood why Ridge did it, but she pointed out that he decided for Steffi rather than allowing Steffi to pick. Ridge explained that he had not chosen for Steffi, but rather the finest person for the job. Taylor brought up his saving of HFTF. Okay, here we go, Ridge murmured. He said he would always do what was best for the company, but Taylor inquired about what was best for Steffi. Taylor asserted that her children were grown but would always be her babies. She hoped she hadn't come across too strongly about the company. Ridge admitted she had but it was one of his favorite things about her. Emma provided fabrics. After she left, Ridge assured Taylor that Steffi would be okay. Taylor recognized Ridge's point of view, but she also saw where Steffi was coming from and wondered why he hadn't consulted their daughter about putting Brooke on the executive team. What are you talking about? You understand why I didn't, he said. They don't like each other. He hadn't wanted to open it if Brooke hadn't expressed an interest. Taylor inquired whether Rich thought it was a good idea for Steffi and Brooke to work closely together. He stated that it was a fantastic concept. It benefited the company and allowed the women to become friends. And hope for the future? Taylor asked. Rich didn't think hope was wrong, but he did say they'd spent heavily on it. It was premature to remove the plug. 
Ridge inquired whether he'd passed Taylor's test. Taylor said she had not been testing him, but he had passed. They each stated that they had missed the banter. Ridge stated that in order for it to function, the Logans and Foresters must collaborate. It was the way to leave something for the grandchildren, and he needed to start with Hope and Steffi. Taylor hoped he was correct. Steffi was taken aback at the cliff house when Finn revealed that Hope's lips had brushed his. You let her kiss you, Steffi inferred, but Finn replied that he had no clue Hope would do so. Steffi inquired as to how many times she had asked him to stay away from Hope. He explained that it had been a lot. She claimed she had repeatedly urged him to keep his distance, but he had ignored her, and Hope had ended up kissing him. Finn understood why Steffi was furious, but claimed he had nothing to do with Hope's behavior. Steffi said he had a lot to do with it, and he didn't want to trust what she was saying about Hope and the Logan family. Finn stated that he had been attempting to restore peace. She pondered why he felt it was his place. You ought to have listened to your wife, she stated. Steffi claimed that Hope was out of control and lost. Finn agreed, but explained that he had been trying to be a friend. Steffi accused Finn of prioritizing a friendship with Hope over honoring his wife's sentiments. Steffi admitted that he should have gone the other way when he saw Hope approaching, but he had allowed her to dishonor his marriage by kissing Finn. Steffi stated that she should have known Hope would make a move on him, and assumed he had seen her feelings for him. He stated he had not expected Hope to kiss him or a conflict to break out. Steffi yelled that he wanted peace, but he was making matters worse by being overly polite and empathetic to Sheila and Hope. Finn responded that it was two separate things. Steffi disagreed, accusing him of neglecting and undervaluing her sentiments toward the women. She stated she couldn't do it and he wondered what that meant. She claimed she felt like the only one battling for them and he wanted to be everyone's superhero at her price. Finn responded that it was not true. Steffi mentioned Sheila, saying it spoke volumes that he could even look at her. She called Hope toxic but he wanted to be friends with her. It was bad enough that he kissed another lady, but the fact that it was Hope made it even worse. Steffi remarked that she had promised herself she would never engage in that back and forth with Hope again. Finn stated he heard Steffi, and she was correct. He had not been listening. He told her that if he had known, he would have turned it off, and that he would never do anything to harm their marriage. He admitted that not listening was wrong but he was trying to do the right thing. He prayed for forgiveness and promised never to let something like that happen again. Steffi Forrester fires Hope Logan? Can Steffi Forrester, Jacqueline McInnes would, fire Hope Logan, Annika Noel, from The Bold and the Beautiful? So we are about to find out. When Steffi discovers Hope's final betrayal, the gloves come off for BNB. How far will Steffi Forrester go to exact revenge? Continue reading to discover out. Here's what's up next on Bold and Beautiful with spoilers ahead. The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers. Steffi Forrester's Shocker. This week on BNB, Steffi Forrester's husband, Dr. John Finnegan, Tanner Novlin, is said to drop a bomb on her. Despite Hope's request to keep their one sided kiss private, the good doctor rushes home to tell his wife what transpired. Finn understands that if he wants to make things right with Steffi, he needs to come clean before she finds out from someone else. When Steffi discovers that Hope kissed her man, all hell breaks loose at Forrester Creations. BNB Spoilers Will Hope or the future be axed? Steffi has been forced to eat crow while celebrating Brooke's bedroom. Despite her reservations, the sales did not disappoint. The figures for Hope for the future have been stale since Thomas Forrester, Matthew Atkinson, left. Steffi may have to embrace Brooke's lingerie, but she may have a strong argument for canceling Hope for the future. What better way to punish Hope for kissing Finn than to kick her out and kiss her career goodbye? Hope has poured her heart and soul into HFTF over the last decade, and losing the company would mean murdering Brooke's daughter. Given Hope Logan's poor decisions and overall low morale, Steffi Forrester will find it easy to find a way to fire her enemy. Steffi would argue that, Following Brooke's bedroom's great relaunch, Forrester Creations doesn't really need hope for the future that desperately. Is Hope about to join the unemployment line on Bold and Beautiful? Do you believe Steffi is overreacting? Can she even fire Hope Logan at Forrester Creations? Taylor's Reunion Steffi blames Finn, Hope obsessed. The Bold and the Beautiful recap for Tuesday, August 20, 2024, has finally arrived. 
Today's episode features Taylor Hayes, Rebecca Budig, reuniting with Rich Forrester, Torsten K. Steffi Forrester Finnegan, Jacqueline McInnes Wood, accuses John Finn Finnegan, Tanner Novlin. Brooke Logan, Catherine Kelly Lang, is distraught at Hope Logan's Annika Noel, Obsession. The Bold and the Beautiful Recap. John Finnegan explains. On Tuesday, August 20th, a startled Steffi asks Finn at the Cliff House, Hope you kissed me? Like her lips contacted yours. Finn verifies this. The Bold and the Beautiful Recap for Tuesday, August 20th. Taylor's reunion Steffi blames Finn, Hope obsessed. Brooke is terrified at Forrester Creations when she discovers Hope kissed Steffi's husband. Brooke wonders what would drive Hope to kiss Finn. Rich sketches designs at another workplace. Taylor interrupts and they share a hug. Ridge is holding on to Taylor just a little too long. Taylor hopes Ridge isn't disappointed to see her. Ridge says never. Brooke demands answers. Hope has no idea what came over her. Brooke calms Hope down before inquiring quietly about what happened. Steffi has her back to Finn and is enraged. Finn explains why he felt compelled to tell Steffi. Steffi is only concerned with the fact that Finn let Hope kiss him. Finn is as puzzled as I am. Finn stresses that he did not allow Hope to kiss him. Finn tries trying to explain what occurred. Steffi interrupts. How many times, Finn? Steffi eventually turns to face her husband. B&B recap. Douglas Forrester update. Ridge looks through photographs of Douglas Forrester, Henry Joseph Samory, in Paris. Taylor expresses her delight at Douglas, Thomas Forrester Matthew Atkinson, and Paris Buckingham, Diamond White being together. Rich can hear it in Thomas's voice during phone calls. Rich feels envious that Taylor knew first. The topic shifts to Steffi. They are both incredibly proud of Steffi. Taylor hasn't seen Steffi's children yet. Taylor says she missed her grandchildren and Rich. Brooke can't believe her ears. Brooke asks, So you just walked up to Finn and kissed him? She doesn't understand. Hope does not either. Brooke wonders what would have occurred if Steffi witnessed the kiss. Hope says she is stressing out because she has never felt so out of control. Brooke admits that this is out of character for Hope. Brooke takes on the role of the therapist, asking Hope to express her emotions. Hope said the kiss felt right until she opened her eyes and noticed Finn's reaction. Hope doesn't grasp what's going on. Brooke claims that Hope is becoming obsessed with Steffi's spouse. Oh, you mean obsessed as Thomas was with Hope? Interesting. The Bold and the Beautiful Spoilers Steffi Forrester Finnegan's Final Straw The Bold and the Beautiful Recap for Tuesday, August 20th shows that Finn claims he didn't have time to react because the kiss came out of nowhere. Steffi claims she warned Finn about the Logans but he didn't listen. So, that someone equates Finn with asking for it? Returning to the scene, Finn explains that he heard Steffi's concerns but was simply attempting to keep the peace. Steffi rattles off a list of Hope's shortcomings including her failing fashion brand and broken relationships. Finn acknowledges he should have listened to Steffi and was simply trying to be a friend to Hope. According to Steffi, Finn cared more about becoming friends with Hope than about respecting her feelings. That seems like a stretch, but okay, Steffi. Finn stands there, listening to Steffi ramble endlessly. Finn's expression shifts from sadness and uncertainty to irritation. Steffi blames Finn for everything. Taylor compliments Ridge on the popularity of Brooke's bedroom. Taylor compliments Ridge on his appearance but adds, From the photos. Taylor then inquires about Brooke joining the executive team. Taylor believes Ridge should have allowed Steffi determine who would fill the position. Taylor discusses hope for the future. Ridge said he will always do what is best for the organization. That's fantastic, but Taylor asks what's best for their daughter? Brooke wants to know if Hope is targeting Steffi's husband. Hope claims she does not want to, but it does not seem plausible. Brooke wants to ensure that Hope can regulate her emotions. Hope says she has to because Finn intends to tell Steffi about the kiss. Brooke is shocked. B&B Recap Tuesday, August 20, 2024 Steffi claims Finn must have been aware of Hope's intentions. Oh, Finn's meant to be psychic. Steffi begins teasing Finn. Steffi makes sweeping hand motions as she mocks Finn's kindness. Steffi compares Hope to Sheila Carter Sharp, Kimberlyn Brown. Steffi notices a pattern. Steffi claims she cannot do this again. Finn is startled and asks Steffi to explain what she means. 
Taylor apologizes for challenging Ridge's business judgments. Ridge understands why Taylor loves Steffi so passionately. They dispute about Steffi and Brooke. Ridge believes Steffi and Brooke will be friends one day. Ridge is hesitant to discontinue HFTF because of the significant investment in the line. Ridge is confident in his selections because he wants the Forrester and Logan families to work together for the sake of their grandchildren. Ridge believes Brooke and Steffi are a good place to start. Brooke is freaking out over how Steffi will respond to the kiss. Brooke warns Hope that Steffi will use the kiss to draw a wedge between the two families again. Hope admits she didn't consider how the kiss may affect Brooke, Ridge, or her line. Brooke expresses concern for Hope's well-being due to her out-of-character behavior. Brooke finds a pattern between Thomas and Finn. Brooke tells Hope to end her affections for Finn before she ruins her entire existence. Hope listens to Brooke and agrees to do what I can. Steffi informs Finn that he kissed Hope despite knowing what she went through with Liam Spencer, Scott Clifton. Finn was simply trying to do the right thing, he claims. Finn pleads for forgiveness. Steffi remains silent, but her expression signals that she is prepared to walk out of the marriage. Bill has two major problems. Was Justin hired to defend Poppy? The bold and the beautiful spoilers reveal that Bill Spencer's Don Diamant new family has utterly disintegrated. Katie Logan's Heather Tom seemingly implausible theories could also be proven correct. Poppy Nozawa, Romy Park, was a one-time connection 20 years ago. However, as Katie pointed out, Bill is unfamiliar with this woman. Katie's intuition may be tested because like everyone else, she feels Luna Nozawa Lisa Yamada. Bill's claimed daughter no more is a nice person. Her unexpected kiss has called into question the group's evaluation. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Is Poppy Nozawa innocent? Everyone except Bill and shockingly Lee Nozawa Naomi Matsuda will be grateful to Poppy for not killing Tom Starr, Clint Howard, or Paul Hollis Hollister, Hollis W. Chambers. Bill continues to defend Poppy and refuses to think she is guilty of murder. The bold and the beautiful spoilers. Bill has two major problems. Is Justin hired to defend Poppy? Bill is still unsure about the paternity question after another test. At this stage in the story, it is impossible to say whether the outcome, which differs from the one Lee obtained, is definitive. Poppy informed Lee that she had not lied about Luna's paternity. But how can Poppy know the truth if she was with Tom while still seeing Bill? She has frequently informed Luna that her lack of certainty is one of the reasons she has avoided discussing paternity over the years. BNB spoilers. Are Katie Logan's suspicions correct? Katie had negative feelings about Poppy since the first time she met her. Bill assumed Katie's future comments about her stemmed from her attempt to protect him. Katie's efforts to defend Bill prompted the police to arrest Poppy. Tom's character believes that the evidence suggests Poppy murdered Tom and Hollis. Maternal instincts kicked in because Will Spencer, Crew Morrow, has returned to Los Angeles, California, from boarding school. Katie became a self-appointed detective as a result of this issue, as well as her long-standing relationship with Bill.